And now, fresh in from the Nevada desert, our chief cat herder, not to mention the chairman of the Washoe County Republican Party, Michael Catanasi. Good evening, members of the Washoe County Party Central Committee and honored guests. And I especially want to welcome a special guest and his team from Clark County, Paul Sajak, uh, made the drive up from Clark. Two and a half years ago, we be began the task of reinventing our county party. While the job is certainly not complete, together we have transformed our party from a barracuda that spent all of its time and energy to attack. Not Democrats, but each other. Our meetings were long, noise levels high. We threw cherry, uh, chairs at each other. We decided nothing and did nothing to get Republicans elected. We were against lots of things and people, but we were never for anything. We were considered a joke, probably with some justification. Last cycle, that changed. We fielded paid interns from UNR, upgraded our tech capabilities to support phone banks, sent out a slate mailer designed in-house to 70,000 Republican households in Washoe County and sponsored Get Out the Vote radio spots. And we did all of that thanks to many of you who volunteered to do the many tasks necessary to run various programs of your county party. These programs would also never have been possible had we not increased our fundraising sites significantly. Thanks to many of you in this room tonight who believe the county party could be effective in getting Republicans elected, we raised $288,000 in the last cycle. The Washoe County Party <clears throat> executed multiple programs to get local Republicans elected, and we raised the necessary funds ourselves. We are now in another election cycle and have planned accordingly. Building on what we learned in our first cycle, we will strengthen our paid intern program. We have already hired our first six interns and have broadened our recruiting pool. <laughs> Reaching out to our youth, we have hired from the College Republicans at UNR, from the Turning Point USA chapter at UNR, and also from young veterans within our own community. We plan to do two slate cards mailings, one to Republican households, and one to minor party and non-aligned uh, households. We will again sponsor Get Out the Vote radio spots and intend to increase those numbers from last year. And to get more people involved in the political process, we will continue organizing and facilitating neighborhood meetings, especially in our targeted areas. In this cycle, there have already been 24 such meetings. I want to thank many of our state legislatures who have attended those neighborhood meetings. And I think they can speak to the eff efficiency and effectiveness of those meetings. Phone banks will also be part of our get out the vote efforts. We intend to focus our efforts on specific races. We have identified Senate District 15, Assembly Districts 27, 30, and 31, as races where Republicans can and must be successful. In addition, there are other local races where their districts are wholly or partly within that Senate district or Assembly districts. We will actively support the Republican those races also. To do this, the Washoe County Party needs to raise, in this calendar year, $269,000. The good news is, in the last calendar year, the party raised $50,000 above what our targeted goal was. Yay! 
A budget summary is on the screen now so that you can see exactly where we raise our funds and exactly each of the programs, what, uh, what each of the anticipated programs will cost. We are well on our way to raise the needed funds with this most successful Lincoln Day dinner. I want to thank Linda Musselman, the chair of this event, and her committee for their efforts and commitment to making this event so successful. However, we ask that you tonight make a significant contribution to the Washoe County Republican Party so that we can accomplish or perhaps even expand uh, our programs for this cycle. We think that the Washoe County Republican programs deliver a lot of bang for the buck, and we ask for your continued uh, <clears throat> support. I want to now to invite uh, Congressman Mark Amaday to uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening with impeachment. Thank you.